I'm gonna teach you the pro kettlebell technique to holding a kettlebell. This is gonna allow you to keep your wrist straight, to have maximum control of the kettlebell, and really be able to perform a lot more exercises with a lot more dexterity than you would with a, a normal grip that you might use for like a dumbbell or something like that. And because the kettlebell rests with the weight of the kettlebell off center, it's gonna require you to take your whole hand and wrist and slide it through this window here as far as you can go at about a 45 degree angle. And what we're looking for here is three points of contact. The first point of contact is gonna be about the center of the handle to the very center heel of the palm. And it can cheat off a little bit towards the pinky side too if that's more comfortable for you. It's gonna vary depending on your hand size. But definitely you don't want any weight on that pad that's underneath the thumb because there's a nerve that goes through there and it's, it's uncomfortable. And then you're going to have two other points of contact. So three total points of contact. The first point of contact, the center of the handle to the heel of the palm. The second point of contact is, we call this portion of the kettlebell the horn, and this is also the horn. This horn here is gonna rest up against this part of my wrist here, this is my ulna. And then the bell or the base is gonna rest against this part of my wrist here. This bone here is called my radius. And when you have these three points of contact, you have a very stable kettlebell that you can kind of manipulate just by rotating your form. And if you need extra control, you can use almost like a big pencil grip and use your fingers to kind of squeeze it to add a little bit more pressure. And if you even gooseneck your, your wrist over a little bit, that'll really wedge it in there nice and tight. And you'll notice that I'm wearing some wrist guards here. There's nothing special about these. These are just terry cloth wrist guards off of Amazon. So any sort of padding on your wrist will do when you're learning. I don't wear them anymore, but I do find that people learn a lot easier when they're not worried about the discomfort when you're just learning how to hold the kettlebell.